Hello everyone, my name is Epoa and welcome back to Star Stable Online. So today it's Wednesday, which means it's update day, and today's update is a very exciting one. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. So today Star Stable released some brand new quests which involve Emma, who I'm not entirely sure who she is, but Emma and one of her friends, who both really love horses, they need to find Emma a perfect uh, horse for her, so a perfect soulmate, as Star Stable called it, and of course they need our help. Now, unfortunately, I cannot show you these quests since they are for Star Riders only, and to be able to play them, you have to finish the quests where you help Rania and Sigri after the elections. And you can find Emma uh, uh, outside Silverglade Village. So Silverglade Village is very close. So it is right here and they should be somewhere outside of it. So if you completed the quests with Emma, uh, with the Rania and Sigri, then you can go and check this out. And you don't have to worry since these quests are not temporary, they are permanent, they are here to stay. So just take your time with the game and they will be there uh, waiting for you. Now, last week, Star Stable introduced these uh, Fall and Mare quests and they are here until May 8th. And today, two more mares have been added to the game. Now, these two mares, they're not in the starting area, so you won't find them anywhere near here. I am guessing, based on this picture, that one mare is in Jorvik Stables or maybe on Paddock Island, and I'm not really sure where the other one is. So, if you are a Star Rider, uh, feel free to go around Jorvik and try to find these mares, since you do get 500 Jorvik shillings for each foal you become friendly with, as well as build up reputation with the Jorvik Rangers. Another image that Star Stable posted on their official website is this image of these three horses. And I, the first thing I noticed is that we don't have these coats in the game. So we have this Clydesdale, which is a seal brown Clydesdale, if I'm not wrong. We have this uh, white Trachna, which uh, Loretta rides. And we have this horse, which in my opinion has such a beautiful coat. Like, I cannot. I, cannot, I really, really want this horse to be uh, added to the game. I mean, this coat to be added to the game. And I'm not exactly sure which horse breed is this. Um, it looks to me a bit like the Mustang, or maybe the Icelandic, I'm really not sure, it, I mean it kind of looks to me like something between a Mustang, and a, an Icelandic horse, and a Welsh pony, so I'm not really sure which one is it, but the coat is definitely so so beautiful, and I would really love this coat to be added to the game. Now as you can see right here, I have reached the championship area. And that's because this is the last part of today's update. Star Stable added schedules of championships, so you no longer have to like wait to check out uh, when will each championship start. You can simply come to any championship you want. You can click on schedule, and it shows you the current time, as well as when is each championship taking place. So here we can see that today it's Wednesday, so there will be championships, more than the championships, at 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. And there is another way to access it, so if you go to the little horseshoe menu, there should be maybe this one? Oh yes, so you click on the ribbon right here, so you click on the high scores, and you can click on championship schedule. And it also shows you that you can check it out by days, and here it shows you when is each championship taking place that day. So today we have some new Hillcrest championships, Fergro, Yorick Stables, Moorland and Fort Pinta, Pony, again new Hillcrest, again Moorland and Golden Hills and Silver Lane. So these would be very handy so you can always know like when is each championship taking place so that you can like organize yourself a lot easier. Now, I do have some exciting personal news to tell you guys. So, today it's March 27th. So, 
school will be actually over in about two months a little bit more actually but let's just say two months so that is very very close and the reason why this is exciting is because I have a deal with my parents that if my grades are good and if some uh, some classes have certain grades that we agreed to I can become a lifetime star rider and I just talked to them yesterday I showed them all my grades and they said that if this keeps up if all my future tests which are coming remain good then I will be a lifetime star rider the minute uh, the new star rider deal comes so we are waiting for that 30% discount on lifetime star rider when the price drops to $50 I believe and I just I just cannot wait I'm very very excited and I'm super glad that I stick to this deal and I mean I still have a long way to go I still have to make sure that my grades are good and that I don't get any F's and that my teachers give me um, I mean they don't give me but my grades at the at the final I mean how do I say uh, like my final grades my final grades that you get at the end of the class if they are good then I am lifetime star writer and I will no longer have to just like walk around and just talk about updates I can actually show you updates and I'm so so excited about that and also since I had that two week trial star rider somewhere in November uh, I like I reached a certain point in the story and then of course I had to stop because the two week period um, ended and now I can well I could finally continue that so this is just a very exciting time for me and with that we have come to the end of today's update video thank you all so so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it and if you did feel free to let me know by liking and subscribing to my channel thank you all so so much for watching and i hope i'll see you next time so long